Welcome to Pete's Virtual Coffee Break. I'm Jeremy Affelt, and my guest is George Contos. One of the things that I loved when I was in San Francisco was Pete's Coffee. So I am so thankful that we get to have this conversation, and I'm so thankful that Pete's is sponsoring it. George, man, we haven't hung out with each other for a little bit, but I think people are curious, what did you do every day when you got to the ballpark to the time that you knew that you were possibly gonna pitch? What was your, what was your skit like during that time? It usually started about 6.15 for me. I put my right sock on before my left, my right pant leg on before my left. It was the same exact routine every single day. I try to explain that to people all the time. Like baseball isn't really the necessary, the physical, uh, it's the mental. It's can you go out there every day and not care what the, what the score is, not care who you're facing, but can you execute the pitch? Who do you think your most hyped teammate was? For sure, Hunter. Yeah. Hunter, Hunter Pence is the most hyped teammate I've ever had. The man just captivated everybody in that clubhouse and, you know, willed us to the next day and the next day, and then we all jumped on board. So he's definitely the most hyped teammate I've ever had. Yeah, that, that would be mine. Cincinnati, after Boach gave a speech and then Pence got up and said, I have no idea what he just said, but I'm going to tell you, <laughs> he just went on his rant. It was yep. awesome. I think that sparked us uh, pretty good. So the, like, coolest teammate. One that's kind of unassuming is Croft. He's a really funny guy. He's got a lot of really witty, smart, under his breath comments. Right. Um, you know, the, the, the man just would come in, he wears his baggy stuff, his hat backwards, his hair down to his, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, he definitely had some edge and some swag. Andres Torres yes. had more swag, just full blown coming out of his ears, his everything. He always had a smile on his face. You couldn't make that guy frown if you tried. So th yeah, those are those are the amazing. Guys. I agree with both of those. That that's who I was gonna go with too. So that's pretty good. When you walk into Pete's, drink a choice. My drink of choice, and you know, don't judge me when I say this, but is a I will. Yeah, I know you. It's a vanilla latte. I'm a vanilla latte guy. <laughs> you know, I can't even say it without laughing. But I I, I enjoy the vanilla latte. Yeah, I, I have black coffee. George, just just coffee. They actually print, okay, the roast date right on the bag. And what that does is it guarantees that it's been roasted within 90 days. And I asked one time about it, what this number was, because I'm that detailed about yeah. coffee. Right. Yeah. I know. <laughs> well, George, man, it was awesome hanging with you, dude. And uh, thanks for joining me on the uh, coffee break, I guess we should call it. I, I don't really call it coffee break because I just keep drinking coffee. Right, but, throughout the day, of course. Appreciate it, man. It was good talking with you, buddy. Awesome, thanks, Jake. Yep.